Good morning, brothers and sisters. The word the Lord says this morning found in Exodus, the fourth chapter, verse 12. Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. Let's bow our heads. Our Father God, Lord, we thank you for waking us up to see a new day. Lord, as we as we open up for devotion this morning, I pray that you will speak to us, impart us to wisdom, Lord, impart us with discernment, Lord, it's in part of the power so that we can accomplish what you have for us to accomplish on this day. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. Folks, in this verse here we see, here we see the Lord speaking to Moses. He has given Moses a great thing. I want you to go to Egypt. I want you to go speak to Pharaoh. And I want you to go and deliver my people. Now, folks, Moses wasn't too sure about that. This is where Moses ran from. He was a wanted fugitive there. He said, Lord, Bubba, he said, Lord, you know, but the biggest issue is I'm not such a great speaker, Lord. I don't have elevated words, Lord. I, I'm not blessed with the gift of speech. God tells him, go. And I will be with thy mouth. And I will teach thee what you should say. You see, folks, you see, folks, God was not asking Moses, do you qualify? Moses was looking at himself. He's been on the run for many years. I am not blessed with the gift of speech. So I don't think this task may necessarily be for me. But folks, here's what to remember this morning, that, that when God calls us, he's not calling us because we're talented. He's not calling us because he saw certain, he saw qualities that, 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 that he needed. God says, I'm calling you and I will give you all that you need. I will bless you with the gifts. I will bless you with the talents. Evaluating your own self before you allow God to use you. Because God says, God says, listen, I will go with you. When you speak, it won't be your words, it'll be mine. When you teach, it'll be my teachings, not yours. So stop looking at yourself and look at me. Folks, what has God called us to do today? What has he called you specifically to do today? It may be something great that you can't imagine. And you may have been putting it off, say, I'm not, I'm not qualified. I'll, I'll wait till I'm in a little bit more seasons. I'll wait till I'm a little bit more sharp. Wait till I have certain gifts. But folks, God says, no, no, no. I've called you. And all that you need, I will equip you with. Stop looking at yourself. And look at God. And folks, we know the beauty of the story. God blessed him. God used him. God went with him. And he delivered all his people. Not because Moses was so great, but because God is great. And folks, when we serve a great God, it doesn't matter what he uses because he's so great. So folks, let's allow him to use us today. Let him use us any way he sees fit. We may, we may think I, I'm not qualified, I don't have the skills, I don't have the tools. Well, maybe it's time to do what God said. In his word, he says, listen, I know what you're facing. I know what's coming up. I know the task you have. I know you're getting nervous. But here's what you do. Be still and know that I am God. And watch what I do. Watch how I have you do things you thought you could not do. Watch how I use you in such a mighty way. So folks, this morning, go. Where God says go. And he will be with your mouth. And he will teach you. He will equip you 
to do all that he's called you to do. Father God, Lord, we thank you for your many blessings. God, too often when you call us, we start looking at our own resources, our own stuff, our own abilities. But God, you didn't ask us to do any of that. You asked us just to go. So Father God, we're asking you this morning, equip us. Equip us for what's coming. Equip us for how you want to use us. Lord, be with our mouth. Order our steps. Be with our actions. Do mighty three things through us. Not because we are great, but because you are great. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters.